Working for Hawaii, you're watching Take Two. Well, today's May Day, which is Lay Day in Hawaii, and the city and county of Honolulu is hosting a celebration. With garlands of flowers everywhere. Ooh. Dallas Antiveros, he joins us now live from Kapilani Park with more great details. Good morning, Dallas. Check out those lays. Exactly. We are so excited. Less than an hour, the celebration begins with our 2023 Lay Queen, Leilani Kupahu Marino Kahoano, who joins us here on Take Two. Aloha. Thank you so much for joining us. Aloha, Dallas. It's wonderful to be back again. Exactly. We've been having so much fun giving all our viewers a preview of what to expect. And right now, we're going to be checking out the different lays that are on display right now. Mm -hmm. But before we get into that, you had to make a pretty big decision for the celebration and that's choosing the color, which fits in with the theme as well. Can you remind us what that process is all about? Yeah, so as the queen, you have the choice to make the, you know, your color selection. And for me, yellow is my favorite, and it also is a very important color in our Hawaiian culture. So here we are with Mele Mele for today. Great choice. Yellow, it really fits in with the spring, the start of the month, very bright, very optimistic. But there's some different examples of lei here as well. So... You being the lay queen, can you go ahead and break down the different lay that we're seeing in the flowers being used? I can. Would you like to start with the ones on my arm? Yeah. <laughs> so pretend back in the old Hawaiian days, there you go, the puamelia. These are what we, our common flower found everywhere. On the other hand, there okay. you go. On the other hand, when we were growing up, we had plumeria trees everywhere. And if you came in at the airport, it was pretty much everyone was greeted with a lei. And so you would see the ladies or even the kani standing there with lei and then being able to uh, present it to a guest arriving in the islands or even a kama'aina coming home. So I wanted you to feel what it's like to have been that lei person of old Hawaii. So Pumelia, and then over here we have the white crown flower. And another way that this can be used is if we take off these petals here and then you see the actual crowns. Do you see that right there? So these are the white crowns and then on the opposite end you can see the purple, the pua kalonu. These are actually Queen Lili o Okalani's flowers oh. and so we always like to honor her on her birthday or special occasions yes. and even in hula for special hula dances that recognize her we'll use the pua kalonu. This is the pua keni keni. Mm -hmm. Now this is a, a beautiful, uh, excuse me, beautiful flower as well mm -hmm. and the scent, the fragrance, mm, it lingers and lasts just like the pua Yes. Um, unfortunately, you don't want to touch it too um, too much because it will start to brown up and touch. Uh, it will turn colors a little sooner. This actually, when you pick it, is white and it begins to turn into that light yellow and yellow and then more of an orangish, orangish color, as you see. I want to chime in because yes. I love it when the lay just matures over time and keeping yes. in your home. I have yes. a collection of all the ones I've gotten here. My cut So that is very traditional Hawaiian style. We hold on to our lei. And that leads me to when you're pow with your lei, if you want to return it back to the aina or you want to return it to visit a grave site or something, that's the best way. We don't throw it in the trash. Never, It's never, never. opala. No. And so it's teaching that lesson how to be able to still give reverence and respect to it, yes. even when it's pow. Um, and hanging at home is a wonderful way to be able to remember the memories of where that lei came from. Beautiful. Yes. And that leads me to here. What is this here? So this is our Halau Maile. I want to give credit to Halau Hulo Mikey and Auntie Mikey, Miss Colleen, when they taught us this lay style. It's something that we continue to perpetuate. So the process of gathering and always hule, always asking permission wherever we go to be able to gather our flowers, to gather our lau, our leaves and, and plants. And then uh, the work that goes into being able to strip and then prepare it to turn into a lei like this. So I'm just working on this one. It was my lei that I had to do within one hour on our selection day. You're so busy right now. <gasps> and you have less than an hour. What do you have to do next? Well, that's why I'm working on this. <laughs> Dallas, I got to get going. I know. <laughs> Can you still hang out with us in, in one more time? I would love to. And 
Who presented you with this step and notice me? Oh my goodness, a really nice woman named Arlene from the city and county of Honolulu. Oh. I was just sharing, you know, you really get to experience the true essence of aloha. And that has a, many different definitions, but when you, when you feel it, you know it's there. It's very genuine, yeah. and as we say, authentic. It's something that is from that spirit within us, mm -hmm. and people call it the aloha spirit. But it's a, a lifestyle that we live that allows us to just be naturally like this every day. Mm -hmm. So we're very blessed when it can be felt by another. Amen. And genuinely cared for it also. More than just a word, a lifestyle, a mindset, a behavior, something that comes within, and something that's coming within right now. I just got to do this twirl really quick. Feels so good. I haven't had this much lay on me. I love it. You feel it and you smell and you it too. Do. And you remember this. And remember, this is to the laymakers, all the laymakers of Hawaii. We are blessed that they carry and perpetuate this tradition every day. We are blessed when we get to be able to do it and share it. Also, make a lay, give a lay, and share a lay. There we yeah, go. Make a lay, give a lay, share a lay. I'm going to go ahead and give you one at home. There you go. Nice. <laughs> Smell that sweet cool I don't know. Can you guys smell that? Gorgeous. Reporting over here at Kapi'olani Park, Dallas and Averos, K20 News, working for Hawaii. Thank you very much for the lake, Dallas. Mm. Very, I can, I can. I, know. I can it's smell it. Well, it is. was the cool Kenny Kenny off. Beautiful day. You give a new meaning to what the ring of power is. It's actually mm. <laughs> Coming up, have you ever lost your keys, maybe your wallet, or... Danny DeVito Christmas ornament. I was looking for that. Well, we'll take a look at some of the bizarre items left behind in Uber cars.